The idea of the separation of church and state is very misunderstood. Because if you go back in history, the reality is the church was the single biggest factor that brought about the American Revolution. And even the British, when they coined the phrase the Black Robe Regiment, even the Mm. British said, had it not been for that Black Robe Regiment. Which were the preachers. They were the preachers. Mm -hmm. They were the preachers in the colonies. Had it not been for that Black Robe Regiment, the America would still be British colony. Well, what does that say about the role of the church? Mm -hmm. And then, regardless of what modern historians say, it was the church that brought about, ultimately brought about, the civil war that ended slavery. Mm -hmm. It was as the conscience of America was stimulated by the preachings and the orations within the church. Yep. And the second great awakening that occurred in mm-hmm. across the Appalachian Mountains and then spread back mm-hmm. across all the country that brought about mm-hmm. the Civil War and ended slavery, the church. So when I hear people say, well, I just don't think the church should be involved in politics, I look at them and say, that is a code for you don't have the courage to get out and get involved. You don't have the courage to stand for what you believe in because the church has always been a dominant factor in the politics of America. And the 56 men that signed that document were men of faith. Hmm. And when they came back and wrote that constitution, they wrote that constitution uh, and derived all of the principles of that constitution out of the Bible. So when you hold up a Bible, you need to hold up the Constitution right next to it and say, this Constitution came from this Bible. Mm-hmm. And every freedom that's, a, that's, that's given in this Constitution came from the Bible. Mm-hmm. And we need to understand that. So when Christians say we shouldn't be involved in politics, you've got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. We're the government. Those Christians that wrote this document gave us a government that they even one of the founding fathers said is wholly unsuitable for anything other than a religious and moral people. Yeah. They expected that we were going to live by that constitution mm-hmm. and keep our eyes on God. 